um, thank you very much. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone can see my presentation and I also welcome you all to our webinar today. Before I start, I want to introduce myself shortly. My name is Bernhard Harderer and I'm a lab engineer for AI projects at the Deckendorf Institute of Technology. Today, I want to take this opportunity to hold a short presentation about our new highly innovative master's program in artificial intelligence and data science which has started this semester, the summer semester in 2021 for the first time. First of all, um, I would like to, to start with the motivation and why we need more imperfectly trained AI specialists. And so AI is one of the leading trends nowadays in the new age of digitalization and many companies all over the world want to use AI methods to improve the products, processes, and services. However, most companies forget that AI requires highly trained, um, highly level trained AI professionals. And currently, as well as in the previous years, there are far too few of these AI professionals available, for example, on the labor market. And according to some, to some studies, every second AI job position has remained unfilled over the last few years. As also can be seen uh, in the figure, according to a study by Bitcom, 69% of companies consider AI to be the most important future technology. And as a result, universities have um, a new role to play in training AI specialists and providing them to companies. And the Technodev Institute of Technology would therefore like to support this AI trend and companies through our master's program. But what is so special about our master's program? Like many um, other educational institutions, we don't want to teach AI only in theory. It's important for us to train AI specialists who can also handle the AI hardware and have the knowledge to be able to develop and optimize AI models. Therefore, the master's program is in cooperation with our Czech partner, the University of South Bohemia. And the students benefit in this way from the combined AI knowledge. Furthermore, social and intercultural values are trained and students have to work on practical AI projects as a kind of group work and present their results in front of an audience. Um, I would like to give more details about this on the next slide. On this slide, I would like to briefly tell something about Deckendorf and about our university. So Deggendorf has nearly 37,000 inhabitants and is located in Lower Bavaria, in the east of Bavaria. And the University of South Bohemia is about 170 kilometers far away from Deggendorf when you drive by car. The Deggendorf Institute of Technology is the most international university of applied science in Bavaria and has about 8,000 students from over 100 different countries. And we work together in many research projects with regional and national companies. A special feature of our master's program is our highly innovative deep learning lab, which we are setting up at the moment to collaborate with companies in AI research projects and uh, for our students for AI projects. And also we have 195 partner universities in 58 countries around the globe provide exchange semesters for all students. The perfect learning environment of our university and our main campus creates excellent students, certifications, and great exam results. So we have um, one or so we have on our main campus state-of-the-art lecture theaters, many labs, and workshops. And we have some departments for our students, like an international office, uh, the language center, or the career service, and so on. Another point is our excellent IT infrastructure, including the campus Wi-Fi and our online iLearning platform for students, so they can access all the learning materials everywhere and every, every time they want. Another important part of our campus is the 24-7 library and a, a big research database, what we have. And also students can join many universities, sports club, play football, basketball, and so on. We have canteens and during the semester there are many many events for all the students and also it takes um, only 
I think, uh, a five minutes walk to the town center. And the campus is also directly next to our uh, beautiful river park. And um, on this slide, you can also see a picture of our new buildings in our main campus or in the background of, of myself. OK, now I want to show the main structure of the master's program. So the program takes two years. The first um, and the second semester are used to teach mainly the theoretical contents in the field of AI and uh, in data science. And one semester takes place in Deckendorf, that's always the summer semester, and the other one in the University of South Bohemia, for example, the upcoming winter semester. And after that, the internship is scheduled, as well as more electives in semester three. And finally, the study is completed with the master thesis and the master seminar, where the students have to present the master thesis results. And also very important is that all students will be required to obtain at least a one German or Czech in a language course before graduating. Um, if we go into more detail, the semesters are scheduled with the following models. So one um, semester, the following models are planned, for example, AI and software development, then advanced machine learning and theoretical fundamentals of AI. And also the students have to do elective one and two, as well as the language model German or Czech in this semester. And um, the purpose, uh, for example, of AI and software development with five credit points is to explore the relationships between AI and software engineering, to use AI to improve the software development process and using software engineering principles to develop better AI applications. The module Advanced Machine Learning contains the theoretical foundations of machine learning like optimization methods or AI model development. And in theoretical fundamentals of artificial intelligence, you become familiar with um, theoretical backgrounds of computer science, such as machine models with applications in complexity theory and predictable theory, formal languages, and so on. In the other semester, the winter semester, in the University of South Bohemia, there are the following models, modules. Information theory, mathematics for artificial intelligence and data science, computational intelligence. Another module is distributed algorithms or advanced storage and analysis, which is um, very important for the topics uh, for data storage and data uh, preparation like database systems or maybe data warehouse and parallel programming. In parallel programming students, for example, will get the skills about executing computational operations simultaneously on one or more main processors of a computer or server. Um, semester three is as mentioned before for the internship and electives three and four. And finally, um, the last semester, the students have to work on the master thesis and the master seminar and advanced topics in AI, where the students have to work on a project in the deep learning lab. And the purpose of this course is to provide students with hand-on and real-world development experience. As these projects are also completed in teams, um, you will get um, also, or, or you also have the opportunity to elaborate on social and language skills. And the special thing about this plan, what is highlighted in, the, uh, in green, is that the plan is customizable. So that as a result, students are individually supported and trained. This way they can continue their education in the best possible way. And this means, for example, the electives are there to fill the gaps in the students' knowledge and to support them individually. For the electives, uh, we have a list of modules that can, can be chosen, or uh, we offer some, some student projects work in the field of AI and data science. So another main advantage of our program is um, the cooperation between two leading institutions, the Deckendorf Institute of Technology and the University of South Bohemia in the Czech Republic. So students have direct access to the faculties of these two different universities as a result twice the number of research fields and also students get access to twice the number of employers and learn to navigate different cultures and gaining intercultural and language competence. 
Um, in order to get a study place, the following criteria must be fulfilled, which are divided into two phases, the formal criteria in phase one and the admission test in phase two. And we receive, I think, about 1,700 applications in the first summer semester, and now in the second semester, I think 2,400 applications. And you can also, like the bachelor, apply until July the 15th for the winter semester, and from October until January the 15th for the summer semester. So in the first step, the following formal criteria must be okay. A bachelor degree with at least 19 credit points from the field of computer science and including um, 18 credit points about AI and data science. For example, data mining, data warehousing, business intelligence, AI or statistics. And the person also needs English level B2 uh, because all lectures are completely uh, thought in English. And if these requirements are met, you'll be invited to a 90 minute multiple choice admission test um, uh, in the following subject areas, math, software development, AI, and data science. And this test is then evaluated and the result together with all the other criteria decides whether the student or the person is accepted or rejected. So as mentioned earlier, we, we are currently setting up a highly innovative deep learning lab. And the lab consists of 18 powerful AI workstations with the newest GPU cards. The computers ensures that students can work immediately and easily on AI projects. And for larger AI projects, research projects or student projects with companies, we purchase a powerful GPU server for our data center. And as can be seen in the pictures, um, we already have several AI development kits, such as robots um, for autonomous driving, which are moved safely through the environment and avoid collisions on a small test road or humanoid robots, which can be used in the healthcare sector, for example. So here you can also uh, find some important contact persons, for example, Professor Dr. Pearl as the study coordinator, Laura Stockhusen as the course assistant, and uh, Evi Piatka, who is in the center of studies. And if you have uh, any questions the next days or weeks, however, it's the best to write to our ticket system, made minus info at th-deg.de, because then you get a quick answer from us. That's made minus info at th-deg.de. Uh, furthermore, our university has many other information channels and social media accounts where a lot of helpful information is always posted. For example, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, a YouTube channel, and the most important one is our website th-deg.de because there you can find all uh, the information about this master program, uh, which I don't have because of the, the short time cannot mention in this in this presentation. But you can find all uh, on our website or write to our ticket system. You can also provide the links in the chat. So, and um, that brings me to the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, as I said, uh, you can contact me uh, in the FAQ now or write to our ticket system as mentioned. And I wish you all the best and I look forward to hearing from you and thank you very much for your attention.